Welcome! Venus Retrograde is happening in 2015 from July 25th through September 8th. There are a few weeks before that and a few weeks after that where Venus is going to be in shadow period. So we may see some similarities, some things starting, rising, finishing up in that shadow period as well. Um, therefore this reading may extend on to its shadow period. I wanted to do this little introduction um, to say a little bit about what Venus retrograde is. First of all, Venus is the planet that governs over beauty, values, love, and so when it is going retrograde, it is going through a revisal um, phase. It's, it's moving backwards, it's reevaluating things, changing things around, tweaking things from the past and our current um, situation to, to make it better um, for the next cycle when Venus goes direct. So I will be talking in this reading about those areas specifically, money, um, self-value, self-worth, values, and love, as well as beauty. <clears throat> I want to recommend for anyone who has their birth chart and knows their moon and Venus sign that you choose the video of your moon sign and the one of your Venus sign to listen to. But if you don't have that information or you just don't want to and you'd rather listen to your sun sign, go for it, go ahead. Depending on how deep you want to go, how much information you want from the readings, you could listen to um, the moon sign video, um, the one for your rising sign, as well as Venus and the sun. It just depends on how much you want, to how much time you want to spend and how much you want to hear because I think there are going to be bits of information for, um, for you in all of those. All right, so thanks for listening to the introduction. Here we go. Hi, Scorpios. So for this reading, I'm going to do first a quick overview of the Venus retrograde period. Then I'm going to get more specific and draw a couple cards for many. Uh, a couple more for love, um, two for values, two for self-value, <clears throat> esteem, self-worth, etc., two for beauty, and then I'm going to draw two cards from another deck, the White Eagle Medicine Meal deck, and I'll talk more about that when I get to it. Alright, so here we go. nothingness, existence, and success. I think Venus retrograde for us, and so Scorpio, um, some of my planets are is going to be in part about reassessing or reforming the way we view and think about success and how we live our lives um, in relation to trying to achieve success. I think it's going to touch on um, what we're doing here, what um, our true values are, our self-value, and how we see ourselves in relation to the rest of existence on um, the universe. And I think it's going to be about going inward and finding our, our inner peace, finding answers within the void, within silent moments, silent times, 
um, perhaps making time for ourselves as well, learning to balance our striving for success, whether it be outward success or our spiritual um, goals, succeeding at our spiritual goals and our inner work with just being and accepting ourselves as we are in the moment. Okay, so I'm going to move on and get more specific now. <clears throat> Two for many. Two for love. Two for values. Two for self-value. And beauty. Beauty. Okay, cool. Money, we've got a major arcana card, the eight of major arcana, transformation. So this isn't about just small things, um, small little projects. This is being a major arcana card, this is about things that have been going on for a long time, um, such as patterns of behavior, changing, transforming. Um, it's a bigger picture card versus small individual um, things. <laughs> and we've got the totality card, the five um, five cards, fire card, totality. Interesting. I think for some Scorpios, this the, there's a message of there's going to be either some combination of obstacles, opportunities, or experiences or, you know, just one, um, just experiences, just challenges, etc. But um, challenges, um, experiences, so forth, are apt to come up. <clears throat> Asking us to, to change the way we behave in relation to money, the way we think about it, focus on it, etc., and become more focused and less um, spread out, less dispersed. So this could be if you're trying to make money, um, doing odd jobs, for example, doing a bunch of different things, if you're kind of a jack of all trades or Jane of all trades type of thing, this can be um, learning to really focus in on one thing at a time. <clears throat> this can also be just learning to be present fully and focus fully <clears throat> in the moment when it comes to your work or how you earn money um, and to put your all into it, to be totally devoted to what you're doing while you're doing it. Um, yeah, this could be a number of things. Transformation card here, you know, something is coming up that's ready to be changed, to tr be transformed. So this can be about how you make money. This could be about um, you know, finding something that you're passionate about to earn money through so that you are allowed to totally um, be immersed in it because you're passionate in it about it because your heart is in it. <clears throat> uh, for some people this may be lessons about not being obsessed with money, not being obsessed with making money or obsessed with their work, not being so totally um, about it but learning to transform that and have it become um, just a part of your life and not your whole life, more colics and things. But I, I see some sort of transformation around 
how you're committed to what you're doing, um, how involved you are in what you're doing, and this could also be about trust. If you look, I don't know if you can see it or not, but um, this gymnast or acrobat has her feet being held by another person and they're about to link hands here but they haven't quite and you know in order to do this trick she's really they've got to trust each other so this can be about uh, finding alignment within yourself and being able to trust yourself fully being able to trust the situations you're getting into whether that's you know, your purchases or the way you make money um, the way you spend money and so forth <clears throat> okay, love. There's the laziness card, which is a nine, which means something is building up to the end of the cycle. And it's a water card. And then we have another major arcana card, 20, Beyond Illusion. And this is also, um, there's 21 cards numbered cards in the major arcana so this is the second to the last card for that and this nine is the second to the last card in the suit the ten being the last card so <clears throat> that's pretty interesting <clears throat> and seeing here with this is maybe some people are feeling exhausted in their relationships um, or if they're single and you're feeling exhausted about being single, you've been wanting a relationship for quite a while and it's just not happening, you're not finding the right person. Um, but this could be, you know, you're exhausted about <clears throat> trouble that you're having in your relationship. It's been going on for quite a while. And... And so um, lessons, opportunities, experiences, etc., may be coming up to have you <clears throat> to give you the opportunity to change your perspective, the way you're looking at things, um, your beliefs, especially your beliefs, and to see the truth. Um, some of us may have been seeing just projections of ourselves or um, not seeing the full truth and so I think there's going to be lessons on that for a lot of people. Um, <clears throat> the, lazy, the laziness card can also be where you've just been lazy in some situation, you're wanting um, your mate to serve you in some way and instead of doing it yourself, instead of finding your independence and being able to be in an interdependent relationship, you're having a sort of codependent relationship and it's weighing on you um, mentally, emotionally, it's weighing on the relationship and so some, some things may come up to have you, to, to challenge you to um, reformulate your paradigms, your beliefs, your thoughts around yourself and what you're capable of. Um, see past the illusion. This can also be about dreaming um, and possibilities, realizing that things you thought weren't possible are in fact possible that you're creating from within so if you don't like the situation that you're in um, you can get out of it um, all right very interesting <clears throat> all right so now values we have the trust card and receptivity So this might, <clears throat> this Venus retrograde might bring up 
Again, experiences, lessons, opportunities, etc. To um, that have to do with trust, um, trust issues that you have for yourself or for others. This might be that a lot of a lot of Scorpios really value trust um, and trustworthiness. And there's a message in here that by being receptive to what's going on to yourself and to your feelings and emotions and um, allowing, you're going to be flowing with the current and allowing for um, things to transform. Also, I'm seeing the more that you trust in life, in what's happening, um, in yourself, in uh, the universe, in nature, and are receptive to any intuitive messages you're getting, the more you are going to be able to reassess what your true values are and align yourself to your values. <clears throat> you know, there might be an update um, ready. Uh, it might be that what you used to value, your, your highest values, um, it's now changed and you value different things and your brain may not have caught up and realized this yet. So the Venus retrograde is very much about um, revising and editing uh, our values as well as um, love and money because money is a value. So it could be that, that, it could be that, and um, being trustworthy also and having trust and being receptive to your emotions and your inner guidance system. Not so much the brain and the thoughts, but your feelings and your intuition is going to guide you along the um, lessons and experiences that are coming up in order to do that to help you um, realize <clears throat> how your values may have changed, what they are now, what you truly value, and how to align your life with your values. Okay, for self-value, which is um, the value that you assign yourself, your self-esteem, your self-confidence, how you feel about yourself. There's the traveling card, <clears throat> and there's the adventure card. What I'm seeing with this is that for some Scorpios, <clears throat> they have been valuing, they've been basing their self-worth their concept of self-worth on how much they do as far as like how Scorpio is very much about investigating things and what I'm seeing is it's how far have you traveled how much have you learned um, how many adventures have you gone on how brave have you been in order to um, you know, do the research, find things out, investigate, get to the bottom of things. And some Scorpios have been basing their, um, their self-worth on that, their belief in themselves and, and their worth and value on that. And <clears throat> so that might be up for revisal. Um, you might be having opportunities, challenges, experiences, etc., to kind of shake that. And ideally, you know, we all want to come from the place of loving ourselves unconditionally, to have self love unconditionally, regardless of what we're doing. Um, that's the healthiest way to be, anyway. So it might be working out these, um, this paradigm that we have, these beliefs. Also, I'm seeing that for some people, 
there's going to be some sort of adventure, some sort of traveling asked of you or given to you as an opportunity <clears throat> in order to um, help you develop and, and grow more spiritually. And from doing this, you're going to develop different feelings about yourself or they're going to um, strengthen or grow. <clears throat> this card is very much about being childlike, having a childlike sense of wonder, um, wanting to explore, being adventurous and lighthearted and playful about it, and just curious about the world and being appreciative of the beauty in it. Going that route, trying to put yourself in that position and do just that. Um, and this card I'm seeing for some people, this, and maybe it's a combination for you, but this can be about um, traveling somewhere. This can be about spiritual journey, um, going different places within. It can also be about being on a path, going somewhere. So, yeah, I'm seeing that like certain adventures are going to come up for some Scorpios and uh, shape the way they um, value themselves more. This can also be, like I said, trying to go with this. It's going to help um, what's going on during this phase. The, the upgrade, the revisal, the um, editing, etc., of your self, your concept of your self worth, your self value, and where it comes from. So, you know, doing some inner um, exploration, some inner spiritual travel in this frame of mind with the um, childlike innocence, um, letting go of expectations. Uh, having a sense of you know adventure and wonder of possibilities being open to possibilities can can really do some cool things in this phase they feel. I also want to bring up that I'm really I'm seeing you know this being a child in this card this may be about doing inner child work for some Scorpios and so I'm going to put a link below about um, about doing that. There's a Teal Swan video that's really cool for doing inner child work. <clears throat> so if you'd like to check that out, check that out. Okay, it just it may be about learning to to get to know your inner child um, and listen to your inner child. It might be about healing the inner child, um, comforting the inner child, doing inner child work. Alright, with beauty, <clears throat> there's the consciousness card and the abundance card. This is really cool. <clears throat> the message I'm getting from this, the first message I'm getting, is the more you focus on the abundance in the universe, the abundance in your life, and the abundance within you, your own abundant nature. More consciousness um, you apply as well. The more beautiful life is going to seem to you, the more beauty you're going to be experiencing and seeing. Um, lessons, opportunities, experiences may be coming up to help you do this or to challenge you to do this, to, um, to see what is there, even in things you don't like, the ways that you are experiencing abundance. Even, even when we have situations where we initially feel a lot of lack, we can choose to um, see the abundance that is there. So I'm seeing like the more we're doing that, <clears throat> perhaps the more 
conscious awareness um, we're going to develop and have while we're going through this Venus retrograde and everything that's going along with it. Um, this card can can be very much about you know, recommending meditation, recommending connecting with your cosmic consciousness, um, seeing, going beyond superficiality, going beyond seeing yourself just as a, a bag of water, um, flesh and water, and exploring your consciousness, your awareness, and how expansive it can be. Okay, so it might be, you know, seeing seeing the beauty in that as well. As far as any, like, <clears throat> alterations to your personal um, body, or your home, car, office, anything that you own, trying to beautify it in some way, trying to change it, if you're having a desire to do that. Um, <clears throat> Venus being retrograde, it's generally recommended that people don't make try to make permanent or hard to undo changes related to their appearance. Um, because the energy is very different right now um, than when Venus is direct, which is most of the time. So we may do things and then later really regret them. Um, so it's, you know, tattoos. You be getting a tattoo right now. Um, if you have long hair, you probably don't want to cut it real short right now. Uh, you don't, probably don't want to spend a lot of money to go um, buy a new car or get your car painted or your house painted right now. It might be better to just jot down your ideas and then once Venus goes direct again, decide what you want. <clears throat> but what I am seeing here is having, um, becoming consciously aware of the abundance of choices that you have. Um, the abundance that's available um, and seeing how abundant and wonderful we are as, as we are, um, how everything is as it is, the beauty and everything as it is. It's not saying, you know, um, forget about any changes per se, but it's saying, it's leaning more towards exploring your abundant um, choices, the possibilities, exploring rather than doing right now. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the other deck and draw a couple cards from that. <clears throat> this deck is mostly animal guide cards, um, animal helpers, messages. There are also grandmother and grandfather message cards and four um, other totems. So what I've been telling all the signs, and I'm going to tell you as well with this, is that the two cards that come up, especially if they're animals, these cards are offering, um, these totems are offering themselves up to you to be your helpers, to be your guides through this um, Venus retrograde if you would like to accept them. So if you want to dive deeper with that and connect with them further, you're welcome to do that. They're going to be around for you. This could mean you know, doing um, a guided an animal, a guided animal spirit meditation. Um, this could be learning, researching more about the animals, how they behave in nature, and so forth, and seeing if any messages um, pop out at you about that. This could be having knickknacks um, on this animal around, um, or drawing the animals, 
so forth, however you want to work with them. I'm just getting a message to relay that they're here for you beyond just the message they're going to give you um, in this reading. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> Very interesting. You didn't get any animals. You've got Rainbow Dancer reversed. I think that's a grandmother card. And you've got Dream Weaver reversed. I think that's also a grandmother card, but I'll have to look to be sure. So I'm just going to read these right out of the book for you. Rainbow Dancer is indeed a grandmother card. If the rattle is reversed, which it is, Perhaps you have fallen out of harmony with others. Have you allowed yourself to become rattled or confused? Observe whether you have hidden prejudice about the color of people's skin, their way of life, or social or financial position. Remember we are all spirit. All are deserving of respect as we seek to weave our rainbow people together into one tribe. Dream Weaver. Dream Weaver is actually a grandfather card. It was wrong. Okay. Dream Weaver reversed. If your dream catcher comes reversed. You may have become attached to ego-inflating false dreams, fantasies, castles in the air, or prey to psychic, illu psychic illusion. Remember, you need to bring your dreams into practical reality and use the gifts they bring effectively. Farewell, you may glimpse me in your dreams. So it may be good to, you know, really do your dream journaling, or you know, do start doing dream journaling if you don't have a dream journal. Just to put anything that you remember upon waking down on the paper. Um, very interesting. Okay, thanks Scorpio.